right so when i talked about this the other day it was kind of super informal the way i made the video so i kind of figure it wouldn't be a big deal i did the same way to answer the question although i'm still anyway i'll just go over conversation so the other day i was talking about the compression between the various k-series heads and whatnot and trying to figure out where the difference is what's the difference to cause the different ratings between these companies making these pistons saying hey it's this compression with this with this head and this compression with that head so uh i waited about a week finally worked myself up enough to talk to uh monday over four piston i was like look man uh here's pretty much what i said to you guys and i know a lot of you guys were probably confused in that video too because it was kind of like my ramblings and th this is why i say that even though i don't have a script i, I need to take sometimes like on a, on a touchy topic like that that i'm not a supremely confident about or even the ones that sometimes I do feel pretty comfortable. I, I take a while to go over it in my head before I finally say it. Because if I don't, it comes out, it can come out uh, weird like that one did. Because uh, it's more like I'm thinking in my head and speaking out loud. And thoughts seem, seem to be, uh, t tend to be a little jumbled and random sometimes. And a little incoherent. It makes a little bit of sense to me, but maybe not so much to you guys. Anyway, so um, I didn't want to make myself sound like a fucking retard or that I didn't have any kind of concept of, uh, of what I was talking about. So that's why I wanted to wait. But I made the mistake of waiting until I was at home after work, after being gone literally half the day. And I wound up doing what I feared and coming off a bit retarded. <laughs> you know, so I'm asking this question and he was just like, uh duh and i'm like oh no yeah i get that but that's not what i'm asking but finally you know after i failed in my communication attempts on two messages i was like please god don't run out of patience here i'm gonna ask you one more time and this time i proofread the fuck out of what i wrote made some spelling error corrections punctuation try to clean it up a little bit and i finally got a coherent statement across I was like, hey, look, man, like you're telling me this and this and that. And I get that. That's all the basic stuff. And I'm not that slow to not understand the basic shit. What I'm saying is that the, when I have a K24, I go out to buy a set of pistons for this K24. The manufacturer of this piston says, hey, the compression rating with this piston and a straight K24 long block is this. If you do a type S head, then the compression drops down to this. I was like, well, if that is the statement and the and the block is a constant thing and the head is the only thing that is different that makes the number change, then what is the difference between the heads that makes the change? And like I said to you guys the other day, on the compression calculators, they all say 50.5 cc's on the chamber flow and all that stuff. So I'm like, yo, what the, what the fuck? And, you know, so I'm still slightly stumped. But the answer he gave in the end was satisfactory to me uh he said he said look i think that these things i think what these manufacturers the piston manufacturers are telling you is because uh they're trying to i'm paraphrasing because i i'm not reading this word for it but it was a pretty short sweet simple thing and it's something that along the lines i've said but he goes i think that these guys were playing it safe they wanted to uh compensate for each head to, to try and be clear so that way nobody gets confusion right now what i mean by this is i said before way back in the day that nip and racing pistons they were there they had on their on their listing not compatible for the k23 or these pistons do not work in the k23 they do work in the k23 we know they work in the k23 but they listed and advertised and sold as they weren't right but that's not the case i think that as you know as i'm saying i don't make the decisions behind the scenes i'm not that close to these people but, uh, you know, I, I think that it was a lack of R&D type thing and they were just playing it safe. They're like, hey, look, let's just we don't know. So we're just going to say fucking it doesn't. Right. And uh, so what Monday said to me was pretty much that that is the equivalent of the situation. What happened when these manufacturers were saying, hey, the compression is this with this head is this with that head. There's no real basis on it because he said that the compression calculators with the 50.5 cc's and the chamber flow is accurate or is pretty accurate they all and they're all about this all the heads are about the same now again the reason why i'm like well that still seems a little bit fishy to me is because of the fact that we know that the ports are uh different they're different sizes now of course then that goes back to the the 
static compression versus dynamic compression and it's still like i'm not a fucking machinist i'm not a head guy so it still seems a little bit off to me for certain reasons like like i said like i was talking to some people before like if you do compression or if you do milling and head work you know that potentially affects compression but it's whatever you know i i'm not the fucking genius and i was able to properly get my shit across so i know there was no confusion about the question i was asking this time and that was the answer i got and also to follow up on this is to put a final stamp on it on what he said is if you guys remember like earlier in the year some six months or so back when i first started getting the rc pistons advertising them is that uh he was saying that um when he get when i asked for what the compression is for the the key to 300 wheel horsepower or 300 plus wheel horsepower he didn't really give me a compression number he gave me a dome height and when i calculated in that dome height it was 13.5 so with that being said and that's the answer he gave me uh my take on it from now on is that i'm not really gonna look at the the varying compression numbers the old k20 head k20 or tsx head this this and that compression so what i did was is i inputted the fucking uh, the dome height and then all i did was make the change between 86 to 87 millimeter all right i guess you could go 87.5 if you're gonna bore over or whatnot and then there is of course a compression a compression difference from the uh from the lack of or from you know from this volume in the chamber but it's minuscule so like instead of 13.5 it's like uh 13.4 or 13.3 so if you're getting a set of pistons for the k24 and they're saying that this is what the compression is for the k24 and you're gonna head swap or whatever just go ahead and consider that that compression is still going to be the same this despite whichever head you put on there so if you're looking at high compression and you're like oh well i'm gonna get these pistons and i'm gonna i'm gonna head swap so i have the better flow and my compression is gonna drop a little bit to be safer for whatever purpose no so if you're gonna get the rsd pistons and you're gonna put them in a k24 no matter which head you're gonna run it's gonna be 13 and change compression so um and uh, i know that this may seem like a super simple solution and it's it, at the end of the day it did seem like a super simple thing but i still see to this fucking day people i respect in the industry that are also perpetuating this difference in compression right you know i saw a, a post from durf on instagram selling some pistons he's like hey it's this compression versus this compression with a type s head or whatever you know and uh also um even like i said the close friend of mine i was like hey look i'm looking for reasons of compression difference and he gave me the port uh, the port difference right so it's one of those things for years that has never really 100 percent been a, a clear answer i think this is the clearest answer i'm gonna get it comes from the uh the in, you know the inside of four piston racing that these guys are literally the kings of honda heads if this is the answer that those guys are willing to give or there are given then that's it for me that's just, i'm just gonna bury the hatchet there and uh, the main reason why I started thinking about this is like I told you guys, I have a I have a uh, the K twenty eight two block with uh, eleven five compression pistons in there, and I was gonna you know I was gonna either V tech killer with a base model head or put the uh, RBB head on there, and I was worried that putting the RBB head on there might fucking skyrocket compression, and uh, and I and I want to boost that block, so I was like, man, I don't I, you know eleven five I can still boost it no problem, uh, if I'm looking at twelve five or higher, then I'm a little bit sketchy on that, so. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a head gasket. I'm gonna put that head on that fucking block uh, And that's gonna be complete and I am going to start building a k-series swap um, Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, you know uh, I'm just not gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the swap silently. I'm not really gonna talk about it too much I might try to sell it one more time <laughs> But I'm not gonna talk about it too much. I'm gonna do that and then uh, whenever I have a swap 100% ready to go, I'll probably pick up a car if I haven't already got one by then and see about having it done, even if I don't do the swap myself and I give it to somebody. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try and remedy the whole VHP shop car somewhat soonish. All right, guys. So yeah, that uh, just wanted to put that out there because it was, it'd be kind of weird to like leave that, that video out there without any kind of follow-up, especially considering the fact that it, it netted uh, a little bit more a higher viewership than than usual so i don't want to leave you guys uh hanging too long and i don't want you to think that i didn't follow up on it i did i got my answer and this that's just how i'm going to view all these things from now on i'm not going to worry about the difference between the head whatever the fucking compression is for stated for the k24 is what the compression is regardless of head option all right guys so thanks for watching uh i think i need to upgrade or update no i don't really need it there's only 150 views on it so no worries on that um a lot of shit going on this weekend guys a lot of builds uh, you know lined up and a lot you know some big power ones 
going on and um i still have a lot of single cam options guys i got you know like i said i have a, a k24 two k24s coming this weekend only one of them is spoken for the other one's uh free um to hop on and uh, some b18s coming down the pipe i got a stock sleeve uh block guard uh b18 that's getting the forged pistons and rods that's going out and a css b18 that's going to be getting some work also Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Uh, links, social media links are in the description down below and peace.